from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. I'm James Tully. A chance for more afternoon showers today. Greg D timing it out for you. We'll check in with him in just a couple of minutes. But first, health experts closely watching another COVID-19 variant, which is being called Delta Plus. Epidemiologists detected dozens of cases of it in the UK, India, South Korea, and here in the United States. While scientists are still studying this new variant, some experts believe it might be even more transmissible than the Delta. They worry the more this virus mutates, the less effective vaccines in our immune system will be at fighting it. The worry is that the longer we let this thing continue to transmit in our population, the more likely it is that we'll eventually find a mutation that will decrease the vaccine efficacy. Although scientists are closely watching this new Delta Plus variant, the original Delta variant remains the biggest concern. It now accounts for 93% of all new cases. President Biden wants to set a lofty goal for the automotive industry to reach. During an afternoon news conference, the president plans to call for half of all new vehicles produced in the U.S. to have zero emissions by the year 2030. The vehicles could be powered by batteries, fuel cells, or some sort of hybrid electric combination. Spirit Airlines still having problems. They canceled over a dozen flights today at the Tampa airport. This is after they canceled hundreds of flights nationwide yesterday for the fourth day in a row. The airline says problems with a crew scheduling system is one reason behind the cancellations. Spirit says there may be lots of cancellations in the short term, but it's working to avoid a bigger disruption later on. The University of Tampa will soon be home to the world's largest and most technologically advanced musical bell sculpture. The sculpture, which is called an Ars Sonora, will tower 105 feet in the air over the new Sykes Plaza when it's completed early next year. It has 63 bronze bells able to play over 10,000 pre-recorded songs. Experts are warning you might want to start your holiday shopping now if you want to find all the gifts your family wants this year. It's all because of continuing delays in the global supply chain. One bit of good news, though, experts say Black Friday and holiday deals will probably start earlier and last longer. Hey, back to those bells, Greg. <laughs> what do you want it to play again? 50 cents in the club. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> you know, with the college kids, you got you to keep it current, right? <laughs> current well, 20 years ago. Yeah, current 20 years ago. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We've got temperatures out there in the 80s as we go through the day today. Rain chances, not all as high as yesterday, but still we're going to see some scattered rain out there. At least the clouds are going to keep us in the 80s. One last day of that before the heat returns, along with a lot less rain. Take a look at your extended forecast on our website or you can follow me on social media at Greg D Weather. James. Thanks, Greg. Get your news 24-7 here on our free streaming news channel and on ABCActionNews.com.